Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Grafton Unprofessional. Though I have to admit, I'm going to be staying on professional a little bit longer here since I kept having so many screw-ups, but I am going to be going back to Nightmare on the smaller maps again here soon, and I'm going to be sticking with professional on the bigger maps. But today, I'm going here on Grafton, because next time I'm going to go to, to prison, and I want to talk about what happened with that gin. But there's kind of a longer explanation for that, so I want to save that for when I'm walking around on prison. So now, I'm just going to take it easy on Grafton here, trying to have another good professional game. So, I don't uh, exactly remember the cursed items. I kind of remember where some are. I think there could be the monkey paw right here. Okay, <laughs> maybe there's a ghost here. What did you interact with, though? Doesn't look like anything was thrown. So that could have been on the other side of the wall. Hmm. I want to go back here first. I was kind of indecisive. Let me look at this. Alright, well there is a hiding spot. No bone though. Okay, I have a general area. But was that on just maybe the other side of the wall here? Actually. I mean, maybe it was over here. Could have been back here. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it was in that room. Alright, let me get some lights turned on. And then I need to find like a, an escape route. Okay, here. Get that main light turned on. See, is that mannequin always supposed to be there? Now I'm like looking for things to be out of place. No, I just heard a can. I'm pretty sure that was the can over here. No, I was expecting this can to be out of place. Oh my god, there are mannequins around here though. Oh, it was this can. But I don't get the EMF. Alright, cool. We know where the ghost is and I don't know. I'm looking out for these mannequins now. But anyway, I, I don't, you know, play a lot of these maps or a lot of the farmhouse maps a whole lot. But that's the whole point of me doing a channel. But anyway, I like playing Grafton here because it's about to be reworked entirely. So it's cool to actually be in one of these rooms I've never really ever had a ghost in. Maybe like once or twice before. That's weird. When I look at that painting, maybe it's like a weird... Well, I was... Do you, okay, more bugs and phasmophobia. Why do... Why does my blindness go down like I'm looking at the whatever just finding bugs so the ghost has not done anything while I'm standing in here maybe I'll just go get more equipment and try and do something give us a sign I mean I guess I really haven't drained much sanity Brendan Dixon which is a developer name Brendan are you here come on Dixon Oh, he actually kind of responded there. You're not actually back here, maybe. You know what? I'm going to drop... Let's drop that. Let's throw some things in here maybe you can interact with. Oh. Wait, did you interact with that as I messed with it? Wait, no way. Oh, no, you know? The head's still on. I was expecting the head to be on backwards. Is that... Bear, really... What you interacted with? Maybe he somehow interacted with it while it was in my hand? That was a strange EMF. But what I wanted to do was just get more stuff in here to throw around for the ghost. So let's get some stuffed animals, get some of these balls in here. And was there another one or was it just this one? I thought I saw a basketball, but maybe it was just this one. Oh, there it is. Alright. So, Brendan, do you want to play with any of this stuff? We're getting really immersive now. You have all kinds of things you can mess around with. You're acting like a shade. Let's get some other stuff in for evidence. I need to think about the cursed item. Let me walk through here. I need to find like another hiding spot. I do have my headlight. I always forget about. So I don't want to break the breaker. Oh, tarot cards. All right, I'm going to move these over here, I guess. I mean, I'll get a picture. I don't... Uh, oh, what? Oh, no. Wow, those could easily get mm, lost. Okay. <laughs> Since I'm here, I'm just going to move them in here, but I'm not going to use them yet. I, I want to move these, like, closer to the center of the room. That other ball just rolled away. I want to put these down so I know if they get moved. Brendan, give us a sign. Okay, that's kind of a sign. It's very cold. Maybe I should get the freezing, but I want to get things like the dots and the camera. 
Okay. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna look for my sanity and see how low I am, because, I don't know, this is feeling like a shade. But again, hiding spots. Alright, I have my headlight. Let me go look up here for a hiding spot. Oh my god, look at all the light bleeding. Alright, well, unfortunately, that one's not open. Now, this... Uh, this is kind of a hiding spot, but I don't know if I really trust it. I mean, I guess you could in a pinch. Now, I guess the one I'm hoping for is the one downstairs in the other workshop. Now, you can hide here, so this is not a bad spot to be. So if I get all the way up there, I can go there. But maybe the if I need an actual hiding spot, it's going to have to be on the first floor workshop back here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just go get other equipment, but I'm going to have to check that hiding spot in a minute. Okay, maybe while I was walking around there, we drank some sanity, which we did, and oh my god, I don't know if that was from the ghost or what. So, witness event, firelight, and paramike. I'm going to worry about those last. Let's get in there. I'm going to get a dots, and I'm going to see if it's freezing. So, we'll get the dots and the video camera pair. At least I have some lights on the house. Like, oh, and... Wait, what? What door did you just touch? Man, I have a hard time telling where things came from in this game. Let me grab this. I guess it was this door. It just sounded really weird. Uh, I mean, I guess I could get a photo. I don't have the UV. I think these doors on Grafton are weird. Oh, whatever. There's one photo wasted. All right, I'll leave this as like a ground light. <laughs> I put my dots down, but look, let me really quickly scan for this. Now it is sunrise. So maybe it's not going all the way down to freezing. So maybe I'll have to test that, but we'll see. So, so far, no freezing. I don't like... I always want to put stuff at, like, the doorway, because I assume the ghost is going to roam. But maybe we'll just leave this here. here. Let me grab my camera. Now that mannequin, I knew that mannequin in here was going to get moved. Now do we... Oh, that's a ghost orb. Oh my god, it's like all the way over here in the corner. All right. Well, there's one. I want to set this up. Let's, yeah, ooh, this is perfect. Wow, I like that angle. Oh, let's see if uh, that's EMF 5. I'm going to try and turn on some light I have here. I guess I'm not worried about photos. Oh, that landed right there. Uh, well, since I have it. All right, we're getting some. Now, unfortunately, the bone... I'm not too worried about getting a perfect game here, so if I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go looking for the bone. Ooh, ooh, nice slow dots for me. Was that a three star? All right. See, I'm happy if I get a ghost photo from that. I understand that you're supposed to get a ghost photo from that, but one time I, you know, we had a whole video talking about how one time I didn't get credit for a dots photo, but I understand why that happened. So, oh my god. Uh, don't be a Raiju. Probably not a Thay. Maybe it's just another Yokai. Doesn't seem to be freezing, but I'm not gonna rule that out yet. Well, I got the right pair in here, then. We haven't seen the EMF-5, which it can be. So I'm not feeling like it's a Raiju. Okay, I'm gonna run back out, maybe get some more defensive stuff, like smudges. Oh, I think that was the dots again. So I probably am going to play with the tarot cards at the end just for fun. Because I think I'll be able to survive a hunt if I just have my smudges. But again, I want to find that hiding spot. So yeah. Hmm. We do need to witness a ghost event. Which, man, that's why this seems like a shade, but it isn't. So... You know, the only other thing would be this and writing. Okay, so we still got two evidences I need to get in there. So then, yeah, we'll go in with a smudge. So, I mean, I could take sanity, but... Uh, the, there's more likelihood of a ghost event at low sanity, so I'm just gonna go in there and see what happens. Once again, I'm sprinting in here. Let me walk to the ghost room. I'm really excited to finally get to tier 3 stuff, because man, even tier 3 stuff is bigger than like this book range, so... Okay, do I trust my headlight? I guess I'm going to. Are you here? Are you friendly? Ow, it's actually really dark in here. Where are you? Okay, well, it's at least hearing me. Where are you? Wow, that is loud. Okay, let's just put that away then. Okay, oh my god, it's a yokai. Oh! Okay, that's an event, though, because it closes the door, and it also started moving instantly. 
All right, Yokai. I see what you're trying to do now. Let me walk back. Hmm. I'm not going to drop my smudge. I'm going to drop my smudge at the door if I had to let me escape here. Oh, another thing was... <laughs> yeah, okay. At least I got out right before that happened. <laughs> I, threw, I even threw my smudge in there. So, the hunt... Yeah, the hunt will end if that happens. Okay. So, I don't even, I was going to say... I've been trying to learn the different sanity ranges. And I know the yokai, if you're talking, it's like 80, so... Well, look. Oh, what? Oh, that, okay, right, the ghost event earlier. I was thinking that counted that as a ghost event. So, hmm. I'm going to get all the objectives first. I'm going to take sanity, get these objectives, and then I'm going to play with the tarot cards and see what happens. But let's just make sure... I'm not going to worry about photos. I'm just going to get the objectives and the ghost type, and then we're going to mess around a little bit. It always feels like I'm doing this in different orders. I try to get the evidence first, and then objectives, but... I don't know, if it's a hunt objective, sometimes it's better to just get the hunt done early on, but on professional, you don't really have to get a hunt sometimes. So I... Yeah. Oh. What? Was that a light switch? Really bright in there. I guess that's for my light. Let me put this down at the corner here. Now, the EMF was going off for a second. I don't know, I thought I heard a light switch. Or may... Did it turn off the... Oh no, the, the hunt. <laughs> This has all got turned off. So, while I'm over here, let me look back here and see if this one spot that I wanted to be open is here, and... Yeah, it is. So, if I need to, I'll go all the way back here and hide. But I'm gonna try and smudge, you know, out here. It'd be nice to smudge at this corner, and then just run off there and hope the ghost, like, roams in there or something. But let's leave these doors wide open. But what I need to do is actually just kind of sit back. I'm gonna sit in the light a little bit. I'm, I'm sure the tarot cards will drain my sanity. Who knows what'll happen? Maybe even nothing, because sometimes the tarot cards don't even do really much. So there's the firelight. Now I'm going to sit here with the paramic. I do have my... Or I have two smudges in here. I have one smudge on me, and then I have another smudge at the door. You can actually see it over there. All right. Hopefully this won't take too long. This is something that could, like, take forever or just happen. I don't mind sitting here, though, because I really just want to get the objectives done. And just see how much money we get and not really worrying about photos or the bone. And also, I just want to have fun with the tarot cards and kind of just mess around anyway. Well, <laughs> we've been sitting here about a minute. <laughs> oh, there was a throw. I was going to say, we could get the tarot cards over here and start pulling on them for fun. <laughs> hey, I tricked myself there. I thought the lights went out. I'm actually going to pull this, that mannequin again. I guess I'm going to put this here on the corner. There's another mannequin back there looking at me. I never really noticed the amount of mannequins on this map. There's another one right there. Jesus. All right, let's... Oh, the, I put the tarot cards all the way in there. I want to run a little bit just to boost my way over there. We already got a ghost photo. I'm not really worried about photo money or anything. This ghost is acting like a shade. Okay. Wait, that... Uh, that's not really what I needed. You give me... Okay, this is not good. You really need to go back to your ghost room if I'm gonna... <laughs> that's like the worst thing I needed. I needed like the hermit or something. Or the... Yeah, the hermit's the one that's supposed to keep them in their room. But I've heard that these cards don't even work sometimes. Okay, maybe that was you going back into your room. I'm gonna sit here for like maybe another 30 seconds and then I'll pull another card. I do like this tier 2 paramic though. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Didn't make me wait that long. Alright, so I'm just gonna go with what view photos I have. I kinda just wanna see how much I get for just doing the objectives and doing the, uh, the ghost type right. But, you know, I have a ghost, three star ghost photo, which is kinda worth money, so who knows. And I know it doesn't get multiplied. But we'll pull another one. <laughs> I wanted to have fun. You just wanna attack me. So. The thing about a yokai is, can you hear me? Come over here. Okay, if you come through this door, I'm kind of screwed. The thing about a yokai, I'm talking on the mic right now, and I don't think he, oh, he's going up the stairs. I don't think he can hear me. Oh, wow, it's really dimmed in here. So the, and that's the thing about testing a yokai. 
is it won't detect your equipment or your voice unless it's really close to you. I think it's within two meters. I was like talking there and I don't really know if it was actually close enough, but I'm trying to test it. Okay, I'm gonna see if he comes through here. What's he, whoa, what? He's, go he's like, he was like ghosted. Did you see that? He was all transparent through the wall. Okay, let me get these lights back on then. So he didn't really come over to where I wanted. I do want to smudge him and try and run to my hiding spot. <laughs> if I need to loop through here, you can. It would be better to have this other smudge back at my hiding spot, wouldn't it? That's what I'm going to try to do. And just have this as a backup. But what I'm going to try is just do a scenario here where I need to smudge and get away. I, and part of this is me just trying to get experience with this game. But I am having fun. There's that hermit card. Tower, which is supposed to give an interaction. Now... The only thing that can really happen here is that maybe it drains all my sanity or, you know, this happens again. Alright. I want him to, like... There. I didn't ever pick up that one. That was actually really bad. Okay, turn off my headlight. I didn't even realize I had it on. But he didn't detect it either. Like, I heard my headlight going off. Is he going upstairs again? I'm glad I thought to pick up the other smudge. I really do kind of lose track of my inventory now with the lighter being a part of it. <laughs> Why does he just go upstairs? I'm gonna see if I can lure him. Oh, in here. Oh. He should definitely see me. Oh! Okay. See, that's good though, because he did go the other way. But it's not... Hmm. I need to have, like... Huh. I I'm not really used to how close or how far it actually works. It works further away than I realize. Well, we have another smudge, so let's just use it up. Now, the thing is, though, is this draining my sanity? Well, we have more tarot cards. Let's just pull them. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, moon card. So now I have... Z no way, dude. Just, just... Ah, now... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn on my headlight. <laughs> he broke the light to the room I'm like trying to stay safe in. Now, that's not really a hiding spot, is it? This one's not open. Or, no, that's not really open, is it? Let me turn the main light over here on. Okay, if I need to run upstairs, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm, I thought like I only would have one or two more left. But I still have my smudge. Okay, now we're in here with no sanity. So I'm going to wait for this yokai to turn active. So did you ever play with anything in here? I really wanted to have like an... See, that would make you think it's a mare, but it's not because we have the three evidence types. But is it a mimic? See, okay, see, I, this is why I'm sticking around and just having fun. I think this is a mimic and it's mimicking a mare. So I need to go get the UV to test for fingerprints. See, this is why we stick around, and this will give me an excuse to get another smudge in here. But yeah, when that when you turn on the light and it goes back off immediately, that's a mare. So I think it's a mimic. So we need to go in there and get UV. Now we do have. Oh, that's only gonna give me. Well, maybe that'll put me over 60, I believe. So I'm gonna go in with more smudges, and I could smudge the ghost, but. Here, I'm going to actually put one of these back. Let's go in with assault, and I bet this is a mimic. And that was something I even told myself, was if there's ghost orbs, that's one of the biggest things you need to remember about this game. If there are ghost orbs, you need to remember it can be a mimic. And as soon as I saw those ghost orbs, I never thought about it. But as soon as I saw that mare ability, it was like, wait, this is not something a Onria would do. So if we can rule out the fingerprints or the UV, that would be great. But we'll at least do that before leaving, and maybe we will get some photos then. Oh no, see, I didn't think that was a hunt. But, okay, we... Wait, whoa, no, oh, okay, that's the footprints. Okay, we have a smudge. Let's go see if there's UV. I should be above 50. Okay. It does look like that was a coincidence then. So it's not UV, so then it means it's not going to be a mare. I mean, a mimic. Okay, not a mare. Two M's. Alright, well, when I... 
Look, since you're back here, I am gonna smudge. I don't even know. All right, well, I'm definitely in hunt range, but I smudged. But let me get some photos, just because. See if I can even get anything good for that. So I don't even know what the exact evidence of it could have been a mimic. Because let me... I mean, we got the three others, but... No, but with... See, with the evidence I've already gotten, I don't think it could have already been a mimic. So I think that's the main thing. Funny enough, I'm running around just getting photos, though. So even with the three evidence I had... Let me... God, waste... Or, oh, attempt getting hunted here. A mimic... Actually, let me just put in these and just go to Mimic. I'm making this harder than it has to be. So, a spirit box we didn't get. So, we do have the U... I am so confused. So, no, we, it would have been way different <laughs> evidence for a Mimic. And that's not an event? Okay. Hit this. What? See? Sometimes you get credit for that, sometimes you don't. Well, we never found the bones, so we're not going to get perfect game credit. So maybe it is time to just go ahead and get on out of here. But we do have a smudge. Let me grab my hmm, one over here. Oh, why does it keep turning this light off? Are you over here? Can you hear me? Give us a sign. I'm trying to get you to hunt. This goes, it really acts like a mare, but we have the three evidence. Alright, I'm kind of just sitting in the dark here, waiting to see if it drains my sanity enough to hunt. Did it just bang on a window over here? Let me grab my EMF. Is that, was my EMF at the door or did I bring it in here? I think it's still at the door. I think it just banged on the window out here. Maybe because I'm such at low sanity, it's roaming a lot. But I swear, I just heard it bang on a window way over there. I know I'm not going to get the EMF for this, but... Come on, are you over here, Yokai? Just hunt me or something. Oh, shit. I think that worked. All right, I'm turning off my... Headlight. Now, I'm going to wait. Oh, okay. Now, where's he going? Oh, no, no. He's coming this way. <laughs> See, that's the weird thing when you're smudging. But, all right. There. I just like using up my smudges, and I also like just getting kind of like the muscle memory in there of doing that and just showing off it's actually kind of simple to smudge and... I didn't turn off my light. I didn't turn off my light. He's come to kill me. I didn't turn off my light. I didn't turn off my light. I deserve to die. Oh well. Damn it, this headlight. I really gotta think about it. He came up the stairs. <laughs> I didn't hear him come up the stairs either, but I didn't think I had my... I turned it on, but I was going to turn it off and then started talking and then turn it off. Oh, well. Oh, uh -huh. He's. He, I guess he got me in the end. I guess I just stayed here too long and <laughs> overstayed my welcome. What the yokai, though? But what, what a weird... Like, it seemed like a mare, and that made me think it was a mimic. But whatever. I like just playing around, and <laughs> this was a professional game where I just wanted to do that. Just kind of mess around with the ghost and also with the cursed item whatever it's called so if you're still here thank you so much for watching remember to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time